Hi guys, Tyler McAllister here. Welcome to my second time recording this because I forgot to hit record the first time. If I could look into the camera, I would. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about this little short run that I have with this Bubba here. It's about a two minute run. I'm going to give you some basic tips and kind of walk you through my mindset as I'm being chased by this Bubba to kind of give you some tips with running him around. So unfortunately, this Bubba did see us. He breaks the door. We're being chased. Uh, we, we think about baiting there. We go ahead and drop the pallet on him. We're fucking running. The moment that you see him go to chainsaw to break the pallet, you want to start making distance because now he's going to be back to actually chasing you again. So my automatic mindset here is find the next pallet, find the next pallet. I know that I see the box here. I assume it's one of the walls with the, with the pallet and I'm right. Uh, go ahead and drop that. Cause he's super on me. You want to, if you're in a situation where it's either you die or you drop the pallet, you drop the pallet. It's that simple. It's going for me. I mistakenly should have ran this loop a lot more. To be honest, this is a really good loop here that I totally wasted. Um, however, he starts chainsawing on that end. I know he's not going to chainsaw around this car. I'm just going to start running because I know he's going to go for the break on the pallet. Now, here, here's something I want, I want you to make a note of. So whenever he starts revving here, keep an, uh, keep an eye on how close he is. He's still revving when he walks into the pallet here. You want to drop the pallet on him. That denies him his power, and it denies him uh, breaking the pallet instantly as well. So I'll walk you through that one more time. Keep in mind, he's revving up his power as he's walking through the pallet. Most most bubbles will bait back here and stay away from the pallet and rev. So they, they can get the insta break. But if they walk in like this, you just drop the pallet on him. Mid rev. Fuck him. We see a window here. We automatically go for that. He did not break that pallet. So we got to keep that in mind. Now that, that right there is pure luck. There's really nothing that you can do to account for that kind of thing. I just got a really lucky stun there. Dropping mid-swing, you're usually expecting an insta power break. If you get a stun, you're very lucky, and it's good. Um, but I wouldn't, like, go out of your way trying to get these kind of, like, stuns out of his power because it's, it's very risky, and it's just better to just drop the pallet. Now we're running towards Killer Shack, which we know we know has a great, uh, great pallet and great window, so he's going to chase me through here. He's revving instantly at the pallet like I'm going to stay there. He vaults this window here. Now, he does a good bait right here where he baits right here, and then he comes around the wall. And he would get me here. It's very close. I actually get stuck on the wall here and just oh. managed to make it through and drop the pallet. Oh. Uh, so it. pretty immediately, we've dropped the pallet on him, and we're moving again. He's going to rev his chainsaw there. He actually attempts it. We get the window. We get away. He comes through. Come on. He vaults it. We're going to go back to this pallet bait and stun because he won't rev this time. We do it. And two gins have popped at this point. We're doing really good. We're doing really good right now. Uh, we see this window. We take it. We see him. Bait one way. Go the other. This is a class, This is a bait that I don't see a lot of people do much. Um, at least in my like friend circle and people that I watch. Bait the window. Feign left. Actually go right. So I feign and I actually go right. Now he, he he's a master baiter. So he, he knows exactly what I'm doing. Come through here again. He's going to try to chainsaw us, but I look at the distance. I see the distance between us. I'm not particularly scared. He he hits something on the way here. I know there's a lot of walls, a lot of turns here, and that's going to be difficult for him. Uh, and I know I still have the window secure, so I'm, I, I let him have that. I don't drop the pallet there. I run through. I grab this window, grab this one, and the chase is over. He officially gives up on us here. So... Uh, I hope you were able to take away some some kind of knowledge from that. You were able to learn a bit. Um, and if you'd like to see me do more stuff like this in the future, a little bit more informative, uh, feel free to tell me down in the comment section. I'll see everyone next time. So thank you so much and see you next time.